Today, we are going to look at prime numbers, prime factorization, and index notation. This is Jack. His parents gave him 12 tiles to arrange a design. So how many possible combinations are there to arrange the tiles in a rectangle or a square? This might seem simple, but what if there are 16 times or even 169 times more? This is where prime factorization comes in. What are prime numbers? What is prime factorization? Why are they so important? Hi, this is smart study. What is a prime number? A prime number is a positive integer greater than 1 that cannot be formed by multiplying positive integers together. These numbers cannot be divided by integer more than 1. 0 and 1 are neither prime or composite. So examples of prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7 and 11. We need to learn factors. Factors are whole numbers multiplied together to get the original number. 12 is equal to 1 times 12, 2 times 6, and 3 times 4. So we can say that factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Prime factorization is the process of breaking down a number to its prime factors. Prime factors are factors that can no longer be factorized. My favorite method is by using a factor tree. For example, we have 100. We can break into 4 and 25. We can break 4 into 2 and 2. And we can break 25 into 5 and 5. So conclusively, we can write 100 is equal to 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. So what do we do with this? Watch, keep watching and find out. Index notation is a way of representing numbers and letters that will be multiplied by themselves. For example, a times a times a times a times a is equals to a to the power of 5. b squared times b times b divided by b is equals to b cubed. More on the law of indices in my next video guys. So you guys still remember this? Now that we know index notation, we can write it as this. So you guys still remember Jack? Jack now knows that 12 is equal to 2 squared times 3. So 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Thus, there are 3 possible ways of arranging the tiles in a rectangular shape. Trivia time. It was Erecto Thinus who discovered a way to sieve out prime numbers in 200 BC. It was then called the Sea of Erecto Thinus. Try it. Factorize 1020 into its prime factors. Calculators are loud and please pause the video. Time's up guys. Here are the answers. 1020 could be split into 2 and 510. 510 could be split into 10 and 51. And the rest, you know it. Thank you for watching. This is Smart Study and please subscribe for more amazing content like this.